is a man? Happy Halloween, everyone. It's Lars here, and today we have a new DLC. Sorry, I was going to say expansion, but DLC for Vampire Survivor. And this one is so amazing because it is an ode to Castlevania. I love Castlevania. I love the music. I love the story. I love the characters. It's so great. Uh, I still need to go back and finish watching Castlevania Nocturne, though. I'll probably do that later today. That is something I should do. Um, but Castlevania is such a cool and interesting world. Uh, basically, the premise of Castlevania, for those who don't know, is that Dracula has returned or is around and is commanding hordes of monsters to go after men because he has been wronged by humans. Um, initially, I think he was at least somewhat antagonizing humans, and then he fell in love, and then they killed his wife. And you know what happens when you kill the villain's wife? They don't take too kindly to it, and, and rightfully so, you know. Um, that's kind of highlighted in the first Castlevania like Netflix series, the animated series. It's showcased very well there. It's very, very, very compelling stuff. Um, and in this DLC, we get to play as not one, not two, not three, but like 20 different new Castlevania characters. We have Trevor, Simon, Richter, Leon Belmont. We've got, um, various different supporting cast characters like Maria from the, uh, Symphony of the Night as well as some of the Belnades family and uh, Soma Cruz from one of the Game Boy uh, Castlevania games. There's so many different characters to play as. And along with that, there's so many new weapons and weapon combinations and upgrades to play with. And it's so much fun. The best thing about this DLC though, absolutely hands down, is the map. It is Dracula's castle and it feels like a Castlevania game. You have the big, expansive map that you get to look at. There's so many different things to look at all around the map. There's boss portals here and there. There's corridors that lead to certain areas. There's secret pathways that the map doesn't really reveal to you. You have to find your way through it on your own. There's hidden passageways behind walls. There's so much Castlevania in this. It's so good. I love it so much. I've only barely scratched the surface from like the five hours I've played today, but I'm so raring to play some more. Um, and there's just so much fun things to do with this new with this new DLC, and it's only like three bucks. the The base Vampire Survivor game is like five. The DLC is like three. So all in all, you're less than ten dollars, and you are getting a really really fun experience with great stuff. And it's on Halloween. Great time to be releasing this. It fits very well with the season, and it is so much fun. I am glad I picked it up. I am happy to be playing it. And you know what? I would recommend checking this out if you are a fan of Castlevania, or if you like Vampire Survivors, or both. It's so much fun. I do. Oh, there's another death. <laughs> He's sending more after me. <laughs> oh, man. Revive again. I wonder if I can kill one. I don't think I can. Another revive? I have another revive. <laughs> I don't even know which one's 
the one I did. It's this one. I'm about to revives. Oh, that was funny. I I tried. I tried to I tried to take him down. I'm going to be continuing to play this game a lot, and I'm probably going to post some more videos showing certain aspects of the gameplay, the classes, the, the characters, I mean, and progressing through Dracula's castle. There's so many different places to go in here, and there may even be the reverse castle from uh, Symphony of the Night. I, I found Dracula's throne room. I've gotten to the place where you would usually jump to the reverse castle, but I'm surrounded by these freaking things. Yeah, so if you can get past that horde of nonsense, I'm, you might be able to make it to Dracula's Reverse Castle. But I will let you know more as I progress through the game more. But I really want to just get this get this video out and showcase some of what's going on with the game, at least the early impressions. I'm loving it. I'm having fun. It feels so much like Castlevania. It freaking, I love it. Just inject the Castlevania directly into my veins. So... Uh, if you enjoy Castlevania, consider picking this up and have a blast with it. It is so much fun. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, be on the lookout for more Vampire Survivors Castlevania type stuff in the future. I'm going to be playing more um, of those types of games. Uh, ARP. I'll be playing a lot of those types of games, ARPGs like Diablo, Path of Exile, and also um, some... Uh, roguelite RPGs, roguelike RPGs like uh, Death Must Die and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for all those types of games. If you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And uh, you know what? I have a question for you guys today. What is your favorite Halloween candy? Or what's your just favorite candy? Like, what is your what was your favorite candy to get as a kid on Halloween? Mine, hands down, Reese's. Reese's Cups, so good. Um, but let me know in the comments what your favorite Halloween candy is, as it is the Halloween season. But uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.